Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a what I eat in a day today. It is currently 7.30 in the morning. I've been up since like 6.30 just tossing and turning in bed. I already dropped off Valerie to school. My husband's not here today. He wasn't here yesterday either. He's out on a work trip. So I really miss him a lot. I like literally tossed and turned last night so much. I hate it when he's out on like travel trips working because like it just... It just feels so, so lonely here without him. So in the morning, I like to start off with my protein coffee and I'm gonna show you how I make it. Let me show you guys our little like snack corner here <laughs> next to my bed. There's like not enough space upstairs in the kitchen for us to put like all of our snacks. So I went ahead and I like put them on this like little rack that I found at Home Goods. <clears throat> Basically, I have my protein shake. I have my collagen. Some like a meal, basically, that's considered a meal for me. <laughs> and my coffee, some oranges in case I get like a little snacky thing at night while we're watching a movie. And then these popcorn guys. These popcorn are such a good popcorn to snack on if you want to watch a movie or if you just want something to snack on in general. It only has 50 calories per bag, no sugar, and only 7 grams of carbs. But like, this is like the great, like just perfect portion for you. And it only has Himalayan pink salt and they're so good. They're so delicious. Also, I found my favorite protein, sh my favorite protein bars ever, literally ever. My husband also super loves these. And these are the Think High Protein Protein Bars. I love the brownie crunch. It's so good. And then I also love the Chunky Peanut Butter Protein Bar. Super, super good. But me and my husband love the, the brownie one a lot better. But this one's still really good. These are the only two flavors I've tried so far. And only because these are like... I think this is like one out of like three that only have zero grams of sugar but like look at the protein in it 20 grams of protein zero grams of sugar they have other ones but they do have like one or two grams or five grams of sugar and i just don't want any sugar in my protein so or like the least sugar possible um but yeah they're so good and i got these at target if you guys watched my last video you guys saw that i was eating and munching on a like protein pop tart and i got this one too i haven't tried this one um i may or may not try today i'm not sure i'm not really craving it i usually like just to like reach for these when i'm craving something sweet uh but this one has uh let's see 20 grams protein four net, four grams of carbs and let's see zero grams of sugar this one has zero sugar in it then i'm gonna take two scoops of the nescafe gold espresso I like the gold one. This is the intense one, but I like the gold one. Is it the gold one or is it blonde? I don't know. It's, it's like yellow right here, but this is um, the intense one. It still does the job. And the, these are the ones that are going viral or that went viral on TikTok. And I am obsessed with it because it's so fine that it literally like just breaks up and like melts when you put the water in whether it's cold or uh, hot water like I just love it so I'm gonna do two scoops <laughs> two big old scoops <laughs> like I love coffee I'm gonna do two big scoops of that and then I'm gonna take four scoops of this vital uh, proteins collagen peptides and I'm gonna put four scoops of it into my coffee as well four and now I'm just gonna take my water And now I'm just gonna stir everything until the collagen is like nice and melted. It's usually really quick, melts super, super quick. Also, I'm not gonna put my protein powder in just yet because the protein powder will like clog up, kind of like coagulate and it won't break down and it just, it, it just stays there floating on the top of my coffee. So what I do is I'll just like sip on this uh, for a little bit and then 
like when it's like when my coffee's down halfway I will go upstairs and grab a water bottle put in a little bit more water and then put some ice and then um, mix my protein powder in there so uh, yeah I'll be back with you guys when that happens and show you guys how I do that it's gonna be a very basic day of eating today nothing crazy I did not cook and I'm not gonna cook today either so I have some like frozen grilled chicken in the freezer that I'm gonna pop out for lunch today with um, a side of frozen veggies today I'm super busy in the afternoon so like after I go pick up Valerie from school I have three appointments back to back so I will be home a little bit later so honestly uh, for like after after my lunch after I have my lunch today and go pick up Valerie I think that the most I'm gonna have today to eat would be a protein bar and um yeah i just don't see myself having any time for like anything else even like a frozen meal i just don't but uh that's okay it's it's okay we're gonna be fine but also it's not a bad thing to like reach for fast food or a guilty pleasure treat during the week either so don't think that i'm like on this strict mode eating nutrition plan either because i'm not uh, like I've said in my previous video, it's about ha having a healthy relationship with food. Uh, I don't restrict myself. I do eat carbs. I know that like my snacks and stuff are like restrictive of like sugar and stuff, but that doesn't mean I don't have days where I don't eat sugar or carbs. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't mean that at all. It's just that today is just one of those days. For the most part, I try to do good about, you know, like not eating too much of something that's super delicious to me. Uh, I try to keep it very basic, um, not overdo it or binge on it like I used to. All right, guys, I am officially out the shower, so it's time for some protein. This is the protein powder that I choose and love to use. This is the Premier Protein Coffee, but basically, I'm already more than halfway done with my coffee, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit more water my coffee and then I'm gonna take one scoop of my protein powder and then dunk it into the rest of my coffee and then I'm just gonna take my trusty little whisker and then just mix it all in so good and you know what I love it I love my coffee like this and I love the protein the protein powder with my coffee I do also have pre-made protein shakes by premier protein as well and those I'll usually grab if like I'm on the run I don't have time to make a meal and then I just like grab it and go type of thing just so I like don't malnutrition myself either I really like the protein powder inside of my coffee because it serves as like creamer and it turns it into like this creamy coffee consistency look and it basically that's my creamer all right guys quick little body update but this is what my body's looking like loose skin loose skin in here too you guys can see that it's like all all loose loose but I like these high-waisted thongs that I got at Target because they give me some type of tummy control when I like wear leggings and stuff. And then this bra, uh, I can't remember. I think it's called She's Wasted uh, from Instagram. That's where I got it from. And I love it because, I don't know, it's like, it gives like pretty good back support. So, And then here, loose skin. I finished getting ready y'all my hair is so damaged from the bleaching I you know I did to it when I went to the salon I could see it I mean I felt it and I saw it when my hair was like blonded but like now that it's black I could see it even more uh, look what I did to my eyelashes you guys um I bought these clusters from Amazon and I've been and I've been using the false falscara 
the seal and bond i know i've used it before and it went like super bad but like literally i've been using it for a little while now instead of going to go get my lashes done so like i have been practicing using it and i've been getting better at it and i'll go to sleep and i'll wake up and it won't be stuck to the back of my eyelids like it was before the first time i tried to do it and it's like the cheapest best dupe to do your eyelashes and so easy uh the longest they've lasted was a week but that's because i ended up pulling them out to just like clean my face and whatnot but they're super cheap on amazon i think this was like seven dollars on amazon or something like that i can't remember but i just know that it was super cheap and then this lasts like a super long time you just got to get used to it learn how to use it and you will get it literally looks like you have false lashes i mean they're not perfect obviously I feel like this one might look a little bit different than this one, but you can't really tell unless, like, you, like, really, really look. But from far away, just keep your distance. You can't really tell. I am going to make Valerie some spaghetti and before she gets home from school because I will have to drop her off. And then I have to go get my th do my three clients. So I'm going to make her some spaghetti and have that ready for her in a plate for when she gets home from school. And, yeah. But I won't do that until a little bit later. And by the way, there's Mr. Toby. A little sleepy head. I want you want to buy me. <laughs> He's so sleepy. He's a sleepy baby. <laughs> and I know you guys been asking about Chapo. Like, where's Chapo? Let me go show you, okay? He don't spend time down here with me anymore unless I, like, physically bring him down here. He'll be down here with me. Uh, but he is upstairs chilling. Like, literally, the first floor is his chill and living space. So let me go look for him so I can show you homeboy. All right, guys, look where I found him. In the bathroom. He's still a big boy, living his best life. He's abandoned his mother. Little OTD. Just some Lululemon leggings and a crop top I got from Target a while ago. Alright, my loves, I came to Walmart really quick because I need cat food for my cat. So let's go inside and then let's just stroll around and see what we find. I am literally in the PJ section and why am I so tempted to get these? I swear Walmart has the literal best PJs ever. It's all I sleep in. And now they have their Christmas PJs out. I want some of those. But I want this one. It's like literally so soft. It's got that velvet uh, material. So soft. And then this one's so cute too. But then this one's so cute. Wait, wait. And look at how nice and long they are. You can look at these. These are so cute too. But I find that sleeping in a two-piece PJ set is just like not comfy for me. I like to get have my legs all out because at some point of the night I start getting really hot so this will make me burn up at night literally I legit prefer these over any PJs any day Oh my god guys okay hold up you guys saw like a quick snippet of me in a green outfit in the fitting room i couldn't talk i couldn't film in there guys unfortunately because they had the music on full blast so copyright reasons i can't so i showed you guys like really quick that outfit i tried on okay don't walk don't skip but run to walmart okay because those leggings are the i would say i own lululemon leggings but these are the literal dupes okay for the soft lululemon leggings 
and these are in the brand avia okay and these are the super soft nylon leggings okay they're $12.98 but they're on sale for seven dollars seven dollars i got the size medium and uh, they're just so nice and soft and also super stretchy so if you guys are looking for that extra stretch it definitely has it and you guys know i have pretty big hips so yeah i was only able to find them in that green olive that i grabbed and then this color right here which is a blue but this is also this is what the brand looks like by the way these are also in a size medium and they're also the but you have to make sure that you get the the super soft nylon legging because i tried this other one that they have and it's called like sheer or something like that but it's like shiny material uh that one doesn't fit good it doesn't have enough waist space for like me to pull them up i i don't like it when a legging doesn't have a high waisted type of space for your belly and like your fupa and for you to fit everything that you have to fit in there for example like me and my loose skin and my stomach and my fupa that i still have uh i need leggings like this that have all of this space plus this up here for me to be able to pull them up nice and up to my waist uh to be able to give me all that stomach control and whatnot but um you guys y'all have to run to walmart because they're only seven dollars i mean they're already cheap as is they're 12 something dollars and i was like oh this is amazing and i was going to take them in every color but literally they have them in pink black this blue and other colors but all of them are out of medium so i was i was only able to take those but i'm pretty sure if i go online i can definitely find them and then i also got the the tops but these were not on sale unfortunately these were like 21 dollars, so i only got two of them and i got this like this color which is kind of like a like a taupe creamy color and this was the only medium they had i mean a small they have so that's one thing about my body that i struggle now when finding clothes is that i'm either uh, a small or extra small on tops because i am smaller upper and then bigger lower so then my bottoms it just really really depends guys like right here i'm a medium in these but it just like really really depends and then like sizings nowadays are so weird i hate going by numbers like for example in lululemon the ones that i'm wearing right now are a 10 and but it like really varies because i'm not a 10 in everything in lululemon like it's it's just really weird and i don't really like all of lululemon's leggings i like their very high-waisted leggings and yeah and then of course i got that green that i was wearing in that one clip that i showed you guys in the fitting room it's just so buttery so smooth this is gonna be such a cute fall slash winter fit i i was not expecting to find this at all guys like i really wasn't and i was definitely not expecting the price to be seven dollars per legging oh my gosh guys that is a literal steal and i wish i could have found the blue top in a media i mean in a small but i'm telling you they're out okay like they're out it's time for lunch okay so for lunch we're gonna go real basic today we're gonna, we're gonna do this grilled fajita chicken and then we're gonna do these frozen veggies which is basically onions and green orange yellow bell pepper and then this is basically my lunch today super basic nothing crazy i just prepped this super super duper duper quick for later it's basically two oven roasted turkey slices some salami and a cheese stick i might put two but this is a cheese stick that I got. This is the, I think this is the light. I'm not sure, but this is the one I get. And I think I'm gonna put both of them in there. So hopefully I have time to eat this later. I'm gonna take this with me um, to go do my clients. So hopefully I have time to eat it. And if I don't, then I'm going to be prepared with my protein bar 
which would be a little bit, you know, quicker and then just easier for me to eat versus, you know, my turkey and cheese. I am currently making Valerie some spaghetti for when she gets home from school. Yeah, the way I eat during the week, it just like really varies. This is just what I'm having today. Tomorrow, I just might have something completely different. It's usually very basic on the basics, nothing crazy. And then sometimes I'll crave a little fast food and I'll stop by McDonald's and get me a 10 piece chicken nugget or a Happy Meal. Something small, can't do anything too big. So I don't like getting sick and tired of what I'm eating and again, just continuing to have a healthy relationship with food. I came to pick up Valerie from school and I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and inhale one of these Think Protein Bars and I'm gonna do the brownie crunch one. Here's what they look like. Crunchy inside and they're not dry, and they're chewy. So it almost feels like I'm eating a chocolate bar. You sure? That is all I was able to finish, and this is basically my dinner. I will maybe try to finish that, maybe a little bit later, not sure. I'm just, I am full off of this, so I'm gonna leave that alone. My husband is coming home though. Super, super excited, he's on his way home. So we'll probably watch a movie later and have some snacks, and then if we end up having snacks, I will show you. But yeah guys, that is basically my dinner, and it is officially Seven thirty at night. So my husband got back from work, so I'm super happy. And um, he went upstairs to hop in the shower. It's actually nine thirty at night now, and I'm actually really, really sleepy. So scratch off movie night. I am gonna go to sleep. I am not hungry. I don't feel like grabbing a snack. I am good for the night. But yeah guys, that is basically my full day of eating today. Uh, nothing special, nothing crazy. Again, it like varies every day. Literally, I won't eat the same thing. I'll just change it up type of thing. Sometimes I will eat the same thing, just really depending on also how busy I am. So I will meal prep in advance also like, you know, for those days. But today was much rather a, um, busy but not so busy type of day so i was able to manage without meal prepping and yeah guys i don't count calories i'm not going crazy over carbs and sugar and whatnot having the surgery really changed my relationship with food and honestly the secret really is is just having small portions so like if you grab a burger just eat half of that burger and like save the rest for like tomorrow type of thing or grab a burger and share it with your boyfriend or girlfriend or your husband or your wife and cut the calories in half type of thing that's literally how i've been doing it and i've lost weight literally i would me and my husband split meals literally and i've lost weight so it's just having a good relationship with food, not binge eating or eating in huge amounts uh, is the secret. Secret is eating what you love, but in little amounts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so, so much and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!